I'm here at the ITU studio in Geneva and I'm very pleased to be joined by Dr. Hamad Touré, who is Secretary General of the International Telecommunication Union, the ITU. Dr. Touré, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. I'd like to start off by asking you about ITU Telecom World 2012, the event coming up in Dubai. And uh, I'd just like to ask you really, why is an event like ITU Telecom World important? Events such as ITU Telecom World 2012 are vital as platform for the collaboration, cooperation, and creative thinking that drive solutions to the challenges of the world today. Drawing on the reach of the ITU as the United Nations lead agency for ICT issues enables ITU Telecom to assemble an audience of participants like no other heads of state, ministers, regulators, heads of international organizations and digital think tanks, industry CEOs and leaders, the entire ICT ecosystem will be here. All will come meet, debate and share ideas on how to move the industry forward. It is this mix of public and private sector of thought leaders, policy makers and brilliant business minds from throughout the world that creates a unique forum for openness, networking, dialogue, and interaction. World 2012 is a microcosm of the international cross-sector collaboration that is so important to drive innovative solutions to the socio-economic challenges the world is facing today. And what is the main focus of ITU Telecom World 2012? The clear focus of ITU Telecom World 2012 is on understanding the nature of the transformation the ICT industry is currently undergoing and the implications of the transformation for both the industry itself and the wider world in which we live today. After decades of dramatic development, the ICT sector is now being revolutionized by a series of fundamental trends or game changers which are altering the rules of the game, introducing new players, new challenges and new opportunities, appreciating the impact of this transformation, how and what is changing within the industry, the new business models, revenue streams and applications opening up. This is critical to success not only within the ICT sector, but across all sectors which rely on ICT infrastructure. And I believe that IQ Telecom World 2012 is the platform to achieve this awareness. You mentioned game changers. What are the most significant game changers driving the transformation of the industry? That's a very important question. The most significant game changers currently impacting upon the industry include global mega trends such as aging population, the shift in economic power from west to east, the ongoing impact of climate change and urbanization. Second, new technologies offering greater transformation, greater performance and power, and new fields of applications, including machine-to-machine -machine communications, M2M, the Internet of Things, or cloud computing. The third is industry dynamics, as new players emerge across the ICT ecosystem altering new revenue streams, business models, operation and delivery mechanisms. These fundamental trends have disrupted and continue to disrupt the entire ICT industry and beyond, bringing enormous potential for human development and considerable challenges too. Perhaps you'd give us some examples of the key opportunities or challenges uh, arising from the industry's transformation. Opportunities and challenges are, in many cases, two sides of the same phenomenon. For example, the increasing threat to our cybersecurity at personal, corporate, national or international levels create a challenge of which we must all be aware as we continue to rely increasingly on, uh, on ICT across all sectors of our interconnected global world. So too does the danger of cyber criminality grows and here is the opportunity by coming together nationally regionally or internationally by cooperating on a scale as global as the threats 
we face, the frontierless world will be able to make a win-win situation where all members will come together. E-Health also is an excellent example of the power of the new connectivity to drive social and economic development as never before across emerging and developed markets alike. From sophisticated monitoring of non-communicable diseases in the home to delivering healthcare to underserved and remote communities around the world, the opportunities are tremendous, but e-health also presents challenges such as data confidentiality, interoperability, and standardization to bring about economies of scale. And finally, I'd like to ask you, Dr. Story, what key message would you like to deliver at ITU Telecom World 2012, and what would you hope to be the outcome from the event? Well, our main message at ITU Telecom World 2012 is that the ICT industry is in the throes of a massive disruption that is changing the rules completely. It is vital that we become aware of this change and its implications, both across all sectors of the ICT industry itself and across all the other sectors relying on ICT infrastructure, including government, education, health, transport, and finance. We need to ensure that this disruption does not threaten the open, fair, and equitable access to communication technologies, which the industry, together with ITU, have strived to ensure. We need to ensure that all of the world's citizens are able to benefit from the tremendous transformative power of next-generation networks. Dr. Ture, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.